Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove scratches from your car's paint. Now there are a few types of scratches and in this video we're going to fix the most common scratch, the clear coat scratch. There are many ways you can get clear coat scratches just like this. Maybe somebody was walking up and rubbing against your car and a zipper or something grabbed the paint. Maybe somebody cleaned your car or you cleaned your car and by mistake you had some grit or something on here and you rubbed a nice scratch into the paint. Heck, even the other day, my friend said their dog jumped up on the side of their car because they were so excited to see him and left a couple of nice sized scratches on the side of their door. So we all know there's tons of ways to get scratches on your car. Well, I'm going to show you how to remove scratches so it goes from this to this. Using five simple steps you could do at home. The first step is to wash down the area with soapy water and a towel. The second step is to mask the area so you know where the scratch is at. The third step is to sand the scratch with 3000 grit and then 5000 grit sandpaper. The fourth step is to use polish. And the final step is to buff it with wax. And the best part is this could all be done at home and it'll cost you only a couple of bucks. As always, all the products that I'm using in this video are listed in the description. If you're having a hard time finding 5000 grit and 3000 grit sandpaper, just check the description for the link. Before we get started, fixing scratches can be intimidating, so I want to explain what we're doing when we remove a scratch. Now the paint on your car has three main layers. The first coat is a primer that goes over the bare metal of the car. The second coat is the base coat, which is the paint that gives your car its color. And the third coat, we have a clear coat which protects the paint and gives it its glossy shine. This is the thickest paint layer, at one to two mils, which is one to two thousandths of an inch. To give you an idea, that's about how thick a Ziploc bag or a garbage bag is. And the final layer really isn't a paint layer, but I wanted to include it because it's important. And it's a protection layer called the wax layer, which helps fill in small imperfections. It also helps protect against light scratches and watermarks. Now the reason why you could see a scratch in the clear coat is because when light hits the scratch, it stands out. On scratch free paint, when light hits the paint, it reflects back in a constant pattern. But when there's a scratch, that light reflects back differently and it catches your eye. What we're going to do is smooth out that scratch so light doesn't catch it anymore. So it goes from this to this, or from this to this. I'm going to show one more, this to this. Since this process works on clear coat scratches, how do you know if your scratch is a clear coat scratch? Well, it's actually pretty simple. One of the easiest ways is just to get some soapy water and spray it down. And if it disappears with soapy water, it's a clear coat scratch. Once it dries, it'll come back just like that. This happens because the scratch gets filled with water and the reflection matches the rest of the paint. Now with what I'm about to show you in this video, we can't use it to fix deep scratches like this one right here. You can see unlike the clear coat scratch, when you get this wet, it doesn't disappear. So we know this is completely through the clear coat. Plus, if we look closely, you could actually see the gray primer in the scratch. A scratch this deep, you need to fill with paint and add your own clear coat on top, but that's for another video. So this method won't work on deep scratches like that. But that's okay, because with this car, we have plenty of scratches all over the body that we could fix, like that one. We have this one right here. We have another one out in the front right here. And now that you guys know all about scratches, I'm gonna show you the five simple steps on how to remove a scratch. And to show you how well this process works and how confident I am in this fix, I'm gonna create my own scratch. So if you're a car guy, I suggest you look away. And this is a pretty deep scratch. It's like a worst case scenario. So if we could get this out, you could get the scratches out on your vehicle. So let's begin. All right, step one, we wanna get our soapy water and we wanna get a clean microfiber towel. If your microfiber towel still has a tag on it, make sure you rip that tag off because this tag could actually scratch the paint and we're trying to remove scratches, not create scratches. Now we wanna clean the area that we're working on with soapy water to remove all the dirt and debris so we aren't rubbing that dirt into the paint and causing more scratches. This is also a good time to check to see if your scratch disappears to verify that it is a clear coat scratch. And in this case, it does, so we're good. Next, we're gonna mask off our scratch and place the tape about a half an inch on each side because it's gonna be hard to see the scratch once we start fixing it. And now I'm just ripping off the end pieces of the tape so that the end of the scratch is at the end of the tape on this side and on that side. Now we know exactly where the scratch is so we have a nice area to work on. One thing to note is we are gonna move the tape up and down to create a bigger area for each step. So we're gonna work the first step in this area, and then the next step we're gonna get it bigger 
and bigger so that we're feathering in all our work so the paint blends nice and smooth. So it's not like there's a strong tape line here or anything. It'll be blended in nicely. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. The next step is to sand the scratch down. If the scratch is deep and it catches your fingernail, then you should start with the 3000 grit. But if the scratch isn't that deep and really doesn't grab your fingernail that much, you could skip right to the 5000 grit. But I know our scratch is pretty deep. I could feel it with my fingernail. So we're going to start off with our 3000 grit. And what we're going to do is we want to sand perpendicular to this scratch. So the scratch is going this way. We want to sand up and down. So against the grain of the scratch. Now a really helpful tip for when you're sanding, grab a kitchen sponge and wrap the sponge with your sandpaper. This will prevent uneven pressure when you're pushing down on the sandpaper. If you're just using your fingers, you're going to have a pressure point where each of your fingers is at. When we use a sponge, that pressure is distributed across the whole sponge, so the pressure on the sandpaper will be a lot more even, and your sanding job will come out a lot better. Alright, now you just need to spray down the area. Don't be afraid to get it soaking wet. Also, spray down your sandpaper. And now we're going to start sanding along this whole line, perpendicular to the scratch. So with this 3000 grit, you want to push down with a medium pressure. Every manufacturer uses a different clear coat. Some clear coats are harder than others. In general, I like to sand this scratch for about 15 seconds, and then check to see if your scratch is still there by wiping down the area with your towel. Here you can still see the scratch, so we need to continue sanding until the scratch is almost gone. So get your surface wet again, and keep sanding. And every once in a while, stop, wipe the area, and check to see if your scratch is still there. If it's gone, you're done with the 3000 grit. If it's still there, continue working until it's gone. This may take a few tries, but be patient. You don't want to burn through that clear coat. Now I need a little bit more pressure, so I'm going to remove the sponge and use the sponginess of the sandpaper, since this is a really deep scratch. And for those of you who don't know, the higher grit number, the finer and less abrasive the sandpaper. So 3000 grit is more coarse than 5000 grit. And you can see I need to work on this area right here, but if you look over here, most of that scratch is gone. So I'm just going to focus right here. All right, that looks great. I cannot see the scratch anymore, and that's exactly what we want. But now we have this haze here, so let's move our tape up and down about another inch or two. And what we want to do is we want to get our 5,000 grit sandpaper and work in this area, but also go up a little bit out into this area to feather in that work. And I just want to make it clear, the goal is to try to keep this tight because you don't want to work on this whole body panel and sand down this whole body panel. Two reasons. One, you want to make the job easier for yourself. Smaller area, less work. Two, once you take clear coat off, you can't put it back on. So we want to remove clear coat only in a little area. Okay, so we're done with our 3000 grit. Now we're going to move up to our 5000 grit. Make sure you use the sponge again and spray a lot of soapy water. And spray the sandpaper too. Now we're following the same exact process as with our 3000 grit, except now with the 5000 grit we're going in circular motion to cut down the scratches in all directions. Plus, we're moving up outside of the area that we just worked in to blend the scratches into the surrounding paint. Now let's spray down the area and clean it off to inspect our work. And this is coming out beautifully. We could take the tape off, because now we could see our area that we're working in, and the scratch is completely gone. There is no mark at all where that scratch used to be. I can't see anything. Perfect. So now we have this area right here that we need to polish so it looks like the rest of our paint. Nice and shiny. So let's move to the next step. If your scratch is still there, keep going with the 5000 grit until you don't see the scratch anymore. At this point, you don't want to see any scratch. If you see any of the scratch, you're going to be able to see it when you're done. So make sure you remove it completely. All right, we're on our fourth step. We're almost done. In this step, we want to use a really fine polish. If the polish says it removes fine scratches and swirl marks, that means you could use it. Polish has grit in it, so think of this as between like five to 10,000 grit. Before we polish, clean the surface to remove all the dirt. Make sure it's clean because we don't want to rub any dirt into the paint and create new scratches. Now we want to get a clean part of our microfiber towel that we haven't used yet and put our polish right on the towel. Now you just rub this polish in in a circular motion. We want to focus our polishing in this hazy area, but we also want to feather it out into the surrounding paint. You want a medium to heavy pressure on that microfiber towel because this is a really fine polish. So more pressure than when you're using your sandpaper. Now you can still see a slight haze right here, so we're going to do one more coat of polish. When polishing, you want to attack the scratches at all angles. So polish in a circular motion and work that polish in there good. 
Now you want to get a clean part on your microfiber towel and just lightly buff the surface to remove any of the polish. Holy smokes, look at this. Now that is a reflection. That is looking good. I can't see where that scratch was at all. That hazy spot is completely gone. And now there is one last step, and that's to grab your paste wax. I suggest using a paste wax because it works better than a liquid wax in this situation. And this is gonna be step five where we put down our protective layer. Not only does the wax fill any microscopic scratches, it also protects your clear coat. So this is a super important step. And this is as simple as wax on, then give it a minute to haze up, and wax off, just like that. And check it out, this is looking great. I do not see the scratch at all. It was right about here, and if we look here, you can't see anything. That scratch is completely gone. The only thing you could see is this gorgeous reflection right here. This paintwork is looking real good. And the best part about this, the scratch is gone, but you at home could do this. I didn't use any special tools or anything. It's water, sandpaper, polish, wax. That simple. And then you get results like this. And if this doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. Check out this before and after. Scratches happen no matter how hard you try to avoid them, and now there's no reason to get upset because you know how to remove them. Hopefully this video was helpful, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing for more automotive videos just like this. And as always, the products and tools I used in this video are linked in the description so that you could easily find them. And the top tip for this video is, you can see right here where I sanded completely through the clear coat. So you want to make sure if your scratch is too deep, you don't want to sand too far. So even if the scratch is still there, you might have to stop. Otherwise, you'll burn right through the clear coat, just like this. And then you'll have to spray clear coat over here, sand it down, feather it in, and all that extra work. So just be mindful with your clear coat, because too much sanding will do that.